In this video, I'll be going over four different macOS utilities that I think everyone should get on their new Mac. These aren't the only utilities out there, but I think that these are the most essential ones. I'm not going to waste any more time, so let's get right into the video. Alright, so the very first utility I'm going to be going over is called Amphetamine. When you click on this little pill icon up here, then it brings up this area where you can go and select how long you want to keep your Mac awake for. That's Amphetamine's main purpose. Amphetamine is just designed to keep your Mac awake for as long as you specify for, and it'll go and bypass all of the preset measures that will make your Mac fall back asleep. This can be extremely helpful if you're trying to download a file, or you're trying to upload a YouTube video, and when your Mac goes to sleep, then it'll pause the update or pause the download. So the different kinds of things that you can specify in here is basically just how long it's going to run for. So you have an indefinitely mode where it'll run as long as you go and set it for, and then down here you have minutes, hours, and you also can go and set it for a specific time or for a certain time right here. If I were to let's say set it for one hour, then what we'd see is that this little pill has gone up instead of to the side. That tells us that it's on. And when we click on it, then it'll say right here the amount of time remaining. So right now we have 59 minutes and 47 seconds remaining. If we go down here to preferences, then what we can do is set things like hotkeys and like other trigger commands. So then when you do something on your Mac, then it can go and set a command over to amphetamine and keep your Mac awake. So let's say if you start downloading a file, then it'll go and trigger amphetamine to stay awake until the file is done being downloaded. I use this utility almost every day on my Mac and it's been really helpful, so I highly recommend it. And it's also free. Alright, so the next utility we're going to be going over is called Magnet. Magnet is this little icon right up here, and it is paid. The cost is only 2 or $3, so it's very little for all the capability that you get out of it. So what you can do with Magnet is snap any of your windows to any of these commands that they have right over here. macOS right now does a really bad job at window management, and so this app can help out a lot with that. So let's say I take a tab, and I move it onto the main screen here, and I want to go and get this moved over to the left half. I can click up here into Magnet and click on any of these buttons and it'll go anywhere I want. To get it to the left, just click that. To get it over to the right, I can do that. And you can go and do this for all the different modes on here. If you don't want to click all of those buttons all the time, then what you can do is just take the window and snap it to either side. You can snap it to the left, right, you can also do it up to the very top in the middle and that will go and give you a full screen view. You can also do it down in the middle of the lower thirds, and that will give you this little thirds view. Another powerful thing to do with Magnet is being able to just go down into here into preferences, and then you can go and set up hotkeys for all these things. So mine, I have it set for command and option, and then whatever arrow keys I use triggers if it goes to the left half, the right half, the upper half, or the lower half. So to show me using this, I just go command option, and then go up, and down, left, and right. And that's how I use it for most of my apps. You can also set this up for every single one of these things, so don't think that it's only limited to those four. Although Magnet is a paid app, I think that it's definitely worth the two or three dollars that you pay for it, as it saves you a lot of time from having to resize windows. If you're looking for a free alternative to Magnet, Rectangle is another one that you should go and check out. I'll have that link down in the description along with all the other utilities here. The next extension I'm going to be going over is called Vanilla. There is a paid version of it, but the one I'm showing to you here is free. So what this does is when we click on this little icon over here, this little arrow, then we can go and take other things like any of these little toolbar icons and we can put them onto the left of that little dot and it'll hide it. So what we do is we just hold down command and then we drag each of these over and you can put in as many as you want into there. So let's say I don't want to show any of these at all. Then I just drag them to the left of that little dot, and then when I click this arrow, then they go away. If I ever need them again, then I just click on this. This is nice to go and help clean up the menu bar of your Mac, and if you also opt for the paid version, then you can have a setting where it will automatically go back so you don't have to go and click this again to retreat all the icons. And the very last utility I'm going to be going over is called Balance Lock. If you've ever noticed when you connect a Bluetooth device to your Mac, that when you scroll the volume up and you scroll the volume back down, then the balance shifts to the left or the right, then this app can go and help solve that. What it does is it just keeps the balance centered at all times. 
It is extremely simple and it doesn't do much, but that's really all you need it to do anyways. In the preferences area, you can go and set it to lock the balance always at the center and also keep it open right when you start up the computer. Having to adjust the balance every time I scrolled the volume up or down on my headphones got really annoying, so this app is definitely a useful one. And the bonus of this utility is that it's free, just like all the other apps on here, except for Magnet. Hopefully you found one or two of those that you want to bring home onto your Mac, and if you have any other suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this or found it helpful in any way, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to more tech content every week. If you have any videos you want me to make, leave me a comment below letting me know your idea. I'll see you next time on Tech Device News.